Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to be talking about blood sugar, you know, uh, and low thyroid, how low thyroid affects blood sugar. Over 105, 105 million Americans are either type 2 diabetic or they're on their way to becoming type 2 diabetic, which we call prediabetes or metabolic syndrome. If your A1C, your hemoglobin A1C, your glycolated hemoglobin is above 5.7, that's not good. That means you're not getting glucose from the blood into the cells where it's needed to be used up for energy. The hormone that pushes glucose into your cells is called insulin. And when insulin, the cells don't listen to insulin, that's called insulin resistance. That's what you have if you're type 2 diabetic or on your way to becoming that. Look, 105 million Americans, that's a third of the country. Do you know how much money and how much disease this is, this is costing us? So many of you are suffering from fatigue, weight gain, heart disease, high blood pressure because of this. Now, your blood sugar, is a, there's a lot more to it than just your, what you eat and, and exercise. There's more to it than diet and exercise. Your thyroid is a major, major player when it comes to maintaining good blood sugar levels. And here's why. It slows the rate of glucose uptake. When your thyroid is low, you don't get glucose into your cells like you should. It occurs at a slower rate. And remember, you need glucose in your cells to use it for energy. It slows the rate of glucose absorption in the gut. So you're not even getting it into the bloodstream and to, so that you can get it into your cells for energy, which is why another reason why low thyroid causes fatigue. And it slows the response of insulin. When our blood sugar goes up after we eat, insulin is released and it pushes glucose into the cell. It's kind of like the key that unlocks the doorway for glucose to get into the cell. And that insulin response is a lot slower when your thyroid is low. And it slows the clearance of insulin from the blood. So it's slower to go into the blood and slower to be cleared. You don't want insulin lingering around a long time in your blood because insulin is very inflammatory and it can cause weight gain. So all of this leads to fatigue, fat gain, and an excess of another hormone called cortisol, which is a topic for another day. But elevated cortisol really is your arch enemy to your thyroid function in a lot of other ways. So all of this is all kind of intertwined, but I want you to understand that your thyroid function, which gets misdiagnosed by a lot of doctors or not diagnosed for many reasons, and your thyroid function is crucial for maintaining proper blood sugar levels. I'm Dr. Ed Beyer. Have a great day.